sexually abused behind these gates, David Welsh returns a broken man. Anger and self-loathing. You hate yourself because you feel so worthless. A happy, smiling teenager in the mid-80s, he skipped maths class one day and ended up in pedophile Kevin Lynch's office. He was the school counsellor. Why don't you lie back on this couch? And then he said he was hypnotising me. He was sexually abused, but kept it a secret. You're not going to tell anyone because you don't want to admit that it happened to you. The 51-year-old is planning to sue Brisbane Grammar School for $30 million for personal injury after losing his career as a high-flying investment banker in London. His life spiralled out of control after he turned to alcohol to deal with his demons. I've got nothing to lose. There's nothing more they can take from me. Mr Welsh wants his day in court because he alleges the school has silenced 130 other abuse victims by settling their claims confidentially. It's all backroom deals done in mediation. There's no transparency. Without these things going to court, um, individual victims won't get the justice that they deserve and the community at large won't really know what happened. Lawyers say evidence given to the $300 million Royal Commission into child abuse is not admissible in court, despite the fact it found the school was negligent and failed to protect the teenage boys from Lynch's depraved ways. If he wins, it could bankrupt the school, which says it can't comment due to legal reasons. Kevin Lynch went on to abuse other boys at St Paul's School in Bald Hills. He killed himself in 1997 after being charged with child sex offences. David Welsh wishes he could stare down his alleged abuser. You are the foulest little creature on the planet. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News.